Hey Doodlebug fans and happy Friday. It's Hannah from the Doodlebug and Jasper and I wanted to do a quick little walk through the store today to show you all the fun new stuff that has been coming in the past week, week and a half. We have been crazy busy around here. I mean crazy busy. Molly and I have been working like open to close every night just trying to get some stuff done out on the floor because all the boxes from the trade show are coming in. So one of the new lines I'm really excited about is right behind me and it's called the Naked Bee. I just kind of like saying that, the naked bee. But Melly's giggling at me. But anyway, what it is, it is really great lotions. They have a whole line, all different kinds of stuff. But why we picked it up is because as crafters, our hands get so dry. And then we put lotion on. And the lotion's greasy. We touch our paper. And we have lotion or oil prints on our paper. So then you have to wipe your hands off, wash your hands off to continue crafting but your hands are still dry. So it, it doesn't really make sense. So this lotion absorbs very well, very quickly, and doesn't leave you with that greasy after feeling. I know yesterday when I had it on, I washed my hands twice, and each time I washed my hands, I could still feel the lotion there. So the lotion was still there, still working, but I wasn't getting that greasy feel. Um, I know some of you have actually commented since we got it in that you've used it and you love it. So I would really appreciate if you would just give us a little shout out, testimonial in the comments, and let people know that you like this product. So whenever you stop in, give it a try. We've got lotions, body lotions, lip balms, um, all kinds of great things in that product line. So that's right up front. And Connor, he's shooting the video. What did you say about it? it smells good. It smells really good. Connor had to check it all in the other day. We're putting everyone to work around here. So Connor checked it in and he said it smells really good. And the one we got in is called the Orange Honey Blossom. I think I'm saying that right. Connor, you entered it, is that right? Yeah, Orange Blossom Honey. So it is, it's really good, but it's not like an overpowering fragrance to where it's gonna overpower any perfume you have, anything like that, but it's just a nice, nice fragrance. So that is one of our new lines we're really excited about, and that's right up front whenever you walk in. We're gonna go right over here next. One of the next things that we got in that are really fun are these little wish banks. And I've been seeing these made on Pinterest, and I've been looking forever for these wish banks. Um, and I hope you guys have been looking for them too, and now you know where to get them. So you could do for a, you know, a kid going off to college, you could do a vacation fun, you could do a honeymoon fun and put it as, you know, decor at a wedding or a shower. But it's got a little slit at the top. Okay, the back comes off so you can decorate it. Now here's the awesome thing. Connor, can you get that price for him? Can you see that guys? $3.99. So with your wish bank, you're not gonna break the bank buying it and decorating it at $3.99. That is an awesome, awesome deal. And it would be really fun too. Piggy bank in a kid's room so they can actually see their money building up. Maybe a little picture of what they're saving for. Um, just some different ideas, but I know I've seen tons of ideas on Pinterest, and now you can get them here at the Doodle Bug. All right, so that's two new things. We're gonna go this way. All right, next place we're gonna go, right here, we have two new fall lines in from Echo Park and Cardabella. Now, I'm gonna tell you to go on to Creative Chaos's site, because my friend Angela made the most amazing shadow box using this line. She used this paper and that Elizabeth Crafts frame die that we showed you sneak peeks of when we went to show blew my mind. Angela is so creative. So Angela, I'm totally giving you a shout out in my video. So everybody go over to Creative Chaos. She's in Ohio. All right. Check out her idea that she made with this. And then you come here and you buy the paper. And Melanie is checking in the Elizabeth Crafts dies in the next day or two. So we'll have those frame dies out as well. And if you know you want one, just let us know. I know we have a list for those going anyway because they are really, really cool. And then we'll just add you to the list. And when it gets checked in, it's yours. So those are two brand new fall lines. Connor, did you get kind of a good, good shot of this? Connor is going to be a great videographer by the time the summer is done. Poor kid. All right, we're gonna go around to the back side because the other day I showed you a picture of that section that was completely blank. And I know I did an after picture, but in case you missed it, we're gonna show you all the paper back here. So we're gonna come around the back. All right, and then Connor's gonna get a little shot here. And I'm just gonna kind of explain. So we've got kind of a love line, family line going here. The next one, it is a bugs line. So they've got really good primary colors 
and then the backs are just really good backs, nice basics. So again, whenever you buy paper, you've always got that A side, which is your main print, and then you've got that B side that is usually a little more subtle. So A side, B side. So really good line with the bug line here. Next we have kind of outdoor and camping. Again, A side, B side, just good prints even if you're not into the camping part of it. They've got lots of good basic prints in the line as well. Next, we have a fox line. If you have little boys that you're doing stuff for, this is just absolutely adorable. Trust me, as a mom of boys, it is hard to find good boy paper. Well, I think that we definitely found some good boy paper for you this time. And again, if you don't like the fox part of it or the little critter part of it, they just have really good A's and B's for your basics. Now, this is nice too. So if you're a card maker, this is just a six by six pad that you cut apart on your own. So it's the same in images scaled down. So a lot of companies will do this as well. I know they do this. Sometimes Photoplay does that, but that's why they do that. Instead of doing six by six pads and charging you more to cut them and put them together, they will do that on the back. So this could be your card back even, a couple six by sixes there. So that's the Fox line and there's a few other ones. And then this one's just a really pretty kind of floral line here. Again, good fronts and backs. Oh, that was in the wrong spot. There's that one. And then there's that front and back. So you can kind of get the idea of those there. All right, we're gonna come on down through the store here and we are going to go to the new wall because the new wall is overflowing. So I'm gonna have you guys follow me back here. I'm walking backwards. That way you don't look at my backside while I walk through the store. That's really why I'm doing it. All right, so as you see, the new wall is overflowing and that's a good thing, right? So we got in the new Julie Nutting Holiday Stamps. I think these guys are some of my favorite ones. I love the Rudy one. And then this little one here, because she has little antlers in the set. But we've got five new ones there. Other things we got in, remember that if you took Nancy Wethington's class, she used those really big, heavy chipboard tags. We sold out of the little ones we had, and she used a couple. I don't even know if she used this size or not, but this was a really requested one. So we got those in. You get 12 tags for like five bucks. It's a really good deal. The Tim Holtz Snarky Sentiments are back in. This one keeps selling out every time. Um, some of the things in here says, sorry, I'm late, but I didn't want to come. Uh, I'm not arguing. I'm explaining why I'm right. Connor, do I need that tattooed somewhere on my body? No, you don't think that's true? No, I, I think it's true. As a mom boy, you know, boy of moms, you totally get that. Today was going great until people. So those are really fun there. We got in um, the rest of the order from HAI, which is all these little fun bits and pieces for you to add to shaker cards or just to glue on to your card itself. I know we did our preview party, this one here, the Elsa, it was pretty highly requested just because it has really good little iridescent flowers. And I'm pretty sure my best friend Jennifer McGuire did a video with that just the other day. So um, we've got in new Cricut vinyl. Mainly I will do more Caesar vinyl or Caesar, Caesar heat transfer Oracle vinyl, but I can't get you this really cool holographic and foil from them. And Cricut really has done a good job sourcing different kinds of vinyl like that. So here's another holographic one. I love that one. That would look awesome on my laptop. Okay, so there, few new vinyls there. Other new stuff, if you saw the pictures Melanie posted the other day, we've got in new glitter packs. You get 20 
four glitters in here for 29 bucks. So that is a really good deal on your glitter. I know it's a little bit of a chunk, but you're not gonna need glitter for years, and you've got every color imaginable in there. I like this one. It has the chunkier glitter. And if you remember whenever Jen came and talked with Lawn Fawn, Lawn Fawn has a really good chunky glitter, and then that way, now you've got chunky glitter in other colors too. Okay, so there's some new chunky glitters there. Um, some of these lines I think were in the other day. I don't know if I showed you these yet or not. So for my planner girls out there, we have some new planner stamps. So this one here to do little notes. Go ahead and put this on your dailies. I love this guy with just a little bit of everything. So it goes from Mother's Day, Spring, Father's Day, Summer, Hello Fall, Happy Birthday. So it covers pretty much everything. For your vertical layouts, some cute little boxes to make some of the vertical stand out. And again, then little sentiments today, list, date, menu, love, urgent. So, you know, so you can flag those and then to where you can do your bullets, little lines there, and then also number stamps. Can never have enough of those. That way I don't have to hand letter everything because I don't always like my writing. Connor, you're wiggling. Connor's like sitting here going back and forth with his head. And then a little planner girl set there. So there's some new stamps. All right, I'll put those back in a minute. Another thing, all right, we have gotten in, up on me. There we go, whoop. All right, so we have finally gotten in a surplus order of the rulers. So finally, after like a month or so now, we actually have rulers in stock that were made by our friend Courtney at Scrapbook of Memories. Um, and so we finally have rulers back in stock. So if you, one, didn't get on the list and you need your first ruler, or two, you've got your ruler at home, but you're ready for a second so you can make the numbers black, we now have rulers for you. So rulers are back in stock, so that's definitely a good thing. And then I think the last, that might be it. I think everything else, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. But Melanie, did you get anything fun checked in today? Um, I'm getting ready to check in some with the craft stuff right now. All right, well, let's go see what Melanie's got in the box, okay? Walk back up this way. And I opened it here on our box too, because I just can't Ooh. not get it. There we go. Oh, so these oh, came yeah, in too. too. We just got in some of the tool towers from Totally Tiffany. Look at this one. This one is nice. If any of you are Project Life girls, this will be perfect for you. But you can also turn it this way here and put inks in there, markers in there, all kinds of fun stuff in there. Hey. This little bowl up here. Well, that's just some snacks for me. Oh, fairly, fairly when you check in. Sometimes checking in makes you hungry. It does. Sometimes yeah. doing videos makes you hungry too. <laughs> oh, that's really chewy. What is that? Caramel. Oh man, I didn't even it's know amazing. that. Didn't expect that. It's amazing. Okay. So what, right. do you, what do you got for us, Mel? All right, so we've got some new hero art dies. Some fun stuff for Christmas. Get that fun little snowflake mm. going down that edge. That's really pretty. That one is actually a Christmas one. This one says, tis the season. We got some new liquid watercolors. Oh, so if you special order those, those are gonna be in. Yep. So she checks it in. Some of those are in there. We've got Misty's. Oh. New to the doodle bug. Okay, so let's talk about the Misty's real quick. All right, so as you know, not for me, I'll just miss it. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Nobody just wants to see my t-shirt, Connor. <laughs> Poor Connor. He works for nothing, so he's doing a, an amazing doing job, job for what he gets paid. I do give him a soda. My kids don't get soda, so usually he gets a soda and payment. So let's talk about the Misty's a little bit. Um, as you know, we've always done the Tim Holtz platforms. Whether you know or not, Tonic is no longer gonna offer those in the States because my sweet Petunia is who made the Misty. She, I mean, she created it, invented it, and there has kind of been a little bit of a lawsuit going back and forth because um, everything that's coming out is so very close to hers and it's patented and, and things like that. So her and Tonic came to an agreement. Tonic is no longer gonna sell the Tim Holtz stamp platform in the United States. So if you definitely you know need a platform and you for sure, oh, hold on, let me say, you definitely need a platform no matter whose you have. Um, it makes stamping so much easier. The Tim Holtz ones, right now, if that's the one you want, we're on a wait list. We do have an order in with Tonic. I'm hoping they have enough still coming in that they're allowed to ship to us. Otherwise, 
We now have Misty's because like I said, you need a stamp platform. And right now, this is what we're gonna be carrying because this is the only one that we can get. And it is great, there is nothing wrong with this. Um, I just like my boy Tim's, I really do. Um, and he had a great stamp platform. But this is what we're gonna be carrying now. And I know my new friend, Gina Kay, this is what she uses and loves. And my BFF, Jennifer, she uses this too. So I don't even know why I use Tim's. Tim, I hope you're not watching, I, I apologize. So we do have the Misty's now, so those are in stock, especially if you're gonna take that Gina K class, you're gonna fall in love with this. She brings one for everyone, so you don't have to bring one, but you will definitely get to try the Misty when she comes October 12th and 13th, which we still have room for in all the classes. So there's my little little plug for our Gina K. All right, Mel, what else you got? We also got the inserts. Oh, inserts, yeah. awesome, so you can line things up, and it feels like it's slick, so it probably cleans off. Okay, and we got the bars. Oh, so even if you have the Tim. Yes. Yeah. People have been asking this mm -hmm. for us to get these forever, and so these are so nice because you put a little piece of washi tape. It's a lot easier to use these than those little discs. So we've got those in for you now too. All right. Now, photo play. Photo play. Oh. Photo play Christmas card kits went like crazy last year. So we out. still have people asking for them yes. this year. So they came out with a new card kit. All right, we've ordered plenty of these, but if you want one, definitely let us know. Um, not checked in yet, but that's gonna be another next on the list sort of thing. Okay. We have a really, really long list. We really do. long, we it's do. getting there. Yeah. And then we got a little bit of, you wanna come up here, Connor, and show the, this is Elizabeth Crafts, kind of Ooh, spread out here. Yeah. I'm working on getting this checked in. So some new Christmas dies here, just good for building your card bases, has a little bit more oomph to it. Ooh, these here we have a bunch of because we have a class idea in the works for those. Some good snowflakes there. These must be some little special ordery guys there. Okay, so lots of fun stuff there. I was gonna say, we also have some Harry Potter die cuts. I'm not Ooh, sure if those are even new. They're not but new, but we have been out of yeah. these for a while, so that is kind of a kind of a big deal. Yep. Okay, and then right. Connor, shoot over there. There's all the boxes uh, yet to more. come. So there's tons and tons to come yet. So, all right, everybody. I'm Hannah at the Doodlebug. I'm Melanie. Partner Cry Melanie. We're, we're worn out, but we're gonna keep working to get all this checked out, checked in, sorry, hopefully within the next few days. Um, but regardless, whenever you come in, there's so much fun and new stuff. And I promise to work really hard to get the newsletter out too. Ooh, I'm working on it. It's just been, again, it's been chaos around here. And um, if you are interested in classes though, they are already on Facebook as events and they are already on our website, www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Otherwise, we're The Doodlebug. You can give us a call at 812-482-4949. Thanks guys and have a wonderful weekend.